Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kitty Powers Love Life. So I was just thinking we're on like part 12 of this series and I'm only level 5 and if this game is anything like Kitty Powers Matchmaker, um, oh, Cornelius is going to propose to Walter, okay, well anyways, um, if this game is anything like Kitty Powers Matchmaker, we can get all the way up to level 20, so I'm just like, wow, this is going to be a long let's play. This is a pretty long game. I don't know if I'm just like slow or something, but all right, let's focus on the task at hand. Here is Walter. He has no idea. He's about to get proposed to. Let's hope this goes well. Cornelius looking fabulous with his new outfit and hair. He obviously went to much trouble to attain this new look. Well, I'm actually the one that went through all the trouble, but, you know, we'll let him have some credit. All right. Hmm. I've just been thinking about what the future holds for us, darling, and... Hmm. Alright, here we go. I forgot about this. Okay, um... Well, they're edgy types, I think. So, I'm sure they want to break uh, the tradition mm -hmm. and make their own <laughs> path. Yeah. Alright, got that hmm. one. Uh, quiet night in. We know that about Walter. He's an introvert. I mean, okay. Look at Walter's outfit. He's got on the unicorn turtleneck. He's got a red cap. I'm sure he is a pretty spicy guy. So I bet he wants to get naked at every opportunity. Okay, I was wrong. Well... You know, you can't blame me for thinking that. <laughs> um, let's, do they want to be free? Let's just, it's kind of just a guess at this point. All right, that was good. Uh, prolonged idleness. Okay, so we got one orange in there. That's not too bad. Would you like to get engaged, Walter? Uh-oh, they've got some problem penalties. Oh, Kitty, they're working on their issues. It's like, that should not be a penalty. Come Are you on, serious Kitty. right Give now? Well, who knows? Who knows what'll happen? I think we... Oh, my cat's about to jump on me. <laughs> I think we got it, though. Yeah, no problem. Well done, Kitty. All right, we got it. They are now engaged. Okay, so going forward, let's make... Oh! <laughs> okay, well... Everybody, meet my cat. Here's my cat. He has a mustache. And I guess he's gonna join me for this episode, so... All right, they're engaged. Hooray. Wonderful. That went well. But as I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Going forward, let's make sure problems are resolved before any big decisions are made. Um, oh, that's right. We have a new couple. I completely forgot about Edwina and Devin. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm seeing some problems in the kitty feed. Um, we're going to have to keep an eye on our kitty box. Because I'm sure we're going to have some appointments to make. It looked like Herbert was repressing his inner self. I saw something about um, our new guy not liking Edwina's job. Incoming message. Alright. Got a message at midnight, pretty late, and from Cornelius. 
The problem I had with the amount of intimacy Walter and I have together has been fixed. Thanks for your help. Okay, well, I'm sure it's no coincidence that the day they get engaged, they had a wonderful night. No coincidence at all. Okay, so he's still working on his issues. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Okay, panic with the new people. I do not remember. Okay, Devin, Devin. I was going to say I do not remember his name. Oh, I love their house. It's so bright. Like, if I lived here, this is how I would decorate as well. Okay, conversation topic. It's time to release the love eggs. Let's see what our new couple is all about. Here's a topic. He's like getting tangled in my cord. <laughs> Stop! Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Let's talk about spiciness. My sweet, I just had a thought. Do you pr think you prefer the thrill of the chase or the thrill of the catch? Okay, so do you like... Okay, you gotta go. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but I've got, like, claws digging into my leg. This is not working out. All right, you go find something to do. Okay. <laughs> okay, so do you pr prefer, you know, the thrill of the courtship, getting to know somebody, or are you more into once you actually are with the person? Uh, That's a bit of a deep, meaningful question. <laughs> I definitely have to say the catch. All right. Okay, that's precisely what I'd say. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, my sweet. I feel so fortunate to be with you. You know, I have high hopes for this couple already. I, I know that they're new and we're still early on with them, but something about them, it's just, I have a good feeling. Okay, Cornelius needs help at the cemetery. Who knows why? <laughs> Welcome to the cemetery. My name's Bentley. Yeah, we know Bentley. We're having a collection. Maybe you'd like to contribute towards some new memorial urns. Well, you guys can't see this because of my face cam, but we only have 47 coins. So, you know, Cornelius really could use the happiness boost, but it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bentley. We really need to save money right now. We should be getting more money tomorrow with our kitty evaluation, but still, nothing wrong with pinching a few pennies. Where can I buy an inflatable kitty powers? You know, I wonder the same thing, Herbert. I would love to have one of those. Okay, Cornelius. <laughs> Quality oh. time together. Okay, let's it's time find to something release to talk the about. love eggs. Choose a topic. Um, okay, well, as much as I love talking about food, they usually don't like doing that. So let's talk about occupation. Oh. How's work going? <laughs> I hate being a skydiving instructor. It's awful. Okay, how do you become a skydiving instructor if skydiving isn't something you're into? Like, that's not a job you just fall into. That's something you've got to, like, apply for. You've got to train for it. I... Well... Cornelius likes it, so who cares what you think, Walter? I wouldn't mind that job. Really? I'd rather chew my own legs off, but I don't have much option. I feel you. I know what it's like, though, to work a job you hate. Okay, so Cornelius is a fire eater. These two are really adventurous. 
yeah, it's good that you love it so much, but it's just not something I'd go for. Yeah. I love my job. Can't you just be pleased for me? Seriously, Walter. Mm. You uh, need to be more adventurous. I mean, uh, skydiving instructor, fire eater. How how can he not like that? I mean, maybe you could. Maybe he's just nervous that Cornelius might hurt himself. Um, I can see his concern, but really, you should still be supportive. Maybe fire eating is just what he likes to do. <laughs> oh, there you are, darling. I'm in the mood to watch horror movies, if you are. Oh. Apologies, darling one. I have a headache, but I'm unable to remove the cap from this aspirin bottle. <laughs> All right. We have done this before and failed. So <laughs> let's see if I'm any better now. Um, Turn the lid and listen for the clicks. Okay, listen for the clicks. See, that's not the hard part. The hard part is that you're timed, and that makes me nervous. But let's let's go for it. Okay, got that one. Got that one. One more. We got plenty of time. We did it! There you are, darling. It's open now. <laughs> Gratitudes. I may now treat the symptoms of my headache. Why is Evie so unhappy? I don't... Did something happen? I, I did not realize how, like, low her happiness bar was. That's a little concerning, but we'll work on that. It, it'll be fine. Message received. Oh, message. Walter, the problem I had with the amount of intimacy that the intimacy Cornelius and I have together has been resolved. Okay, awesome. End of the week, Kitty's here. Now I gotta say my favorite part about this is getting money <laughs> so that we can buy new things. That's that's always a good time. time Hello, Kitty. Yep, let's see. Let's see. Honestly, let's I don't even remember what happened this week. So. This week. Here's our rental income from all your lovely locations. Ooh, all your right. grateful clients have given you some tips, you lucky thing. Here's a bonus for solving all those problems. Have a gold star. You helped okay. some residents to become friends. That definitely deserves a reward. Here's a well-earned bonus for all of this week. Wow, so far we've things. earned 526 coins. That's a lot week. of money. Well done. And this is for all the couples that achieved relationship perfection. Left the village. Six hundred points. I think that's the most we've ever had. Wow, and no bad things happened that week. Awesome. And I got a fabulous reputation, finally. I am so proud of myself. And let's see what we can buy. Okay, expand town. Yep, we're doing that. No questions asked. Make this town bigger. Animal sanctuary or lake. Animal conservation is what it's all about here. All your furry friends are perfectly happy and well cared for. That goes very well with hippies and geeky types um, and edgy types as well. So that's an option. Or the lake. Such a peaceful place. There's all sorts of wildlife and you can do a spot of fishing if that's your thing. Well... Geeky types are not into lakes, <laughs> so we might be doing the animal sanctuary. Um, hmm. But first, I'm going to build another basic bungalow because Jeez, our new space. couple does not like their house. It's too small. Um, so let's put that... Right here. And there we go. And how do I get them to move? Is it this? They can't exactly move house while they're asleep. Oh, okay, kitty. You don't have to be sassy. 
are they still asleep? Okay, wake up, Devin. Come on now. It's 11 a.m. Okay, well, he's awake, but he needs our help, so let's see what he needs. Okay, Regina. <laughs> Such a ridiculous name. Okay, Alicia needs a favor. She wants to put all the books in alphabetical order. Why are they not already in alphabetical order? That's just how they should be. You know, just do it. Just do it, Devin. You have nothing better to do. You were sleeping until like 12 p.m. So. Personally, I really enjoyed shelving books and organizing them. It was very relaxing. But that's just me. I can't believe you made me do that, Peppermint. Well, get used to it. <laughs> that's that's part of the price you pay to live here. You've got to help out. Okay, can you move now? There we go. Move into your new bungalow. Okay, great. So they should be happier now. And let's go ahead and build the animal sanctuary. Okay, Choose animal an sanctuary. Spice. Let's put the animal sanctuary. Hmm. How about maybe here or here? I like it there. Let's put it kind of back off the road. Cool. Wow, they were very excited to get to the sanctuary and look there's like a little donkey and a llama and a dog so great I love it great addition to the town and we cannot forget Devin and Edwina need to make friends so that's something we need to remember to do Okay, there doesn't seem to be a drop of hot water. The boiler must be up to the spout. Mm -hmm. Would you mind awfully having a little look at the pipes? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a medium difficulty. A piece of pipe is missing. Let's not screw this up. I'm gonna screw this up. Okay. The piece that fits the gap. <laughs> mm, I didn't even see where the gap was. Is it this one? No, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. Oh, dearie me, I'll have to call an emergency plumber now. Oh, well, oh, she's mad. There are bits of pipe all over the place. I didn't even see where the gap was. Like, give me some time. Why is that timed anyways? Like, that doesn't actually make sense. Okay, so you you need to calm down. Uh, that's disappointing. But you know, I'm I'm a love coach. I'm not a plumber. I'm not. <laughs> that's not my job. You should have called a plumber in the first place. Ooh, Walter and Herbert taking a walk at the park in the hmm. rain totally normal i require your unbiased opinion on my partner evie <laughs> yeah. what do you think of her eleganza makeup <laughs> okay so truthfully walter does not like evie's makeup um but does herbert like evie's makeup is what we really need to consider here um you know eleganza makeup does not seem like something herbert would be into it does not sound like a geeky style so let's say it's bad uh. <laughs> it's ridiculous i have no idea how she can walk around in the street like that <laughs> yeah. correct her makeup does not suit her at all my wife is really ugly i'm glad you agree <laughs> yeah. an emergency makeover is in order ha ha okay you guys you guys are awful especially you herbert that's not nice to say about your wife very rude 
very disrespectful. I can't believe you. Actually, I can because Walter, or not Walter, Herbert, as we know, is just not really a good person. All right, so Edwina, let's make you friends with... Um, no, I didn't mean to do that. Go back to Edwina. Okay. Compare, I think, is what I meant to do. Yes. Hmm. Doesn't seem like they would have much in common. What about Herbert? Well, okay, and when it's into campfires, so maybe, um, and Herbert likes bird watching, so those are kind of similar. Maybe they'll get along. Let's, let's see if they can hang out with each other. So let's invite Edwina in tonight. And, um, before we do that, let's also schedule Devin. Oh, isn't Devin the popular one? Okay. Hmm. Medieval history action movies. Him and Cornelius might get on well. But let's see, what about what about Walter? Hmm. So hard to tell. Oh, wow, he thinks Evie is just beautiful. And I just realized with the blue eyes and green hair, Devin is very attracted to himself. So that's interesting. Um, you now maybe you two shouldn't hang out if, with Devin being that attracted to, to Evie. Uh, let's try Cornelius. So you can come in as well tonight. And, okay. <laughs> Hello, Edwina. I feel like I'm saying her name wrong, but I'm gonna just keep <laughs> saying it that way. <laughs> Spending time with friends. <laughs> and I already forgot who that was gonna be. I think it was Herbert. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we can't actually do these because we don't have these locations. Um... <laughs> well, hmm. Edwina really does not seem like she would be into first person shooters or. Hmm. You know, let's let's just try it out. If you guys <laughs> don't get along, that's okay. <laughs> Nothing hmm. wrong with trying. So, can we do it tomorrow? Yes. You don't need to watch paint dry. Mm -hmm. Meet with Herbert tomorrow to do some research on crowd crowdfunding projects. Sounds like a great time. Not really, but you never know. If we're doing it with the right person, it can still be fun. Message received. All right. Choose a client. Hello, Devin. <laughs> Spending time with mm. friends, and it was Cornelius. Uh. <laughs> um, let's watch action movies uh. with oh. Cornelius tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow around three. Okay, uh. let's hope that goes well, cause. Now that we have different types of people in our neighborhood, it's hard to say if they're going to all get along. Alright, what do you need, Walter? Peppermint, I have an issue that needs resolving. Okay, that sounds pretty urgent. So, come on in tomorrow. Lots of appointments tomorrow. Look at our town. It's like an actual town now, almost. Wonderful. Uh, 
my cat. He just really wants me today. He's over here, like, on his tower, staring ah. right mm -hmm. at me. <laughs> I'm looking for someone called Jamie Fleshberg, but I have no idea what he looks like. He's a hippie, okay? Oh, medium difficulty. Identify the person. Alright, this is a tough one. Um, I'm gonna eliminate the middle guy. As far as I know, hippies don't wear beanies. I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, see, this guy has like the little prayer beads, which is pretty hippie-ish, but this guy's got a wonderful hat and scarf, and he's got the green jacket, which is green like grass, which hippies love. So let's try this guy. All right, I got it. I am just wonderful at identifying hippie types, apparently. Okay, you've inherited inherited a comprehensive collection of antique dentures. Um, well, he seems excited, so... Okay. Oh, I'm feeling especially generous today, so I'm going to reward you with a lovely gift. What could it be from the cemetery? A funeral urn. Uh... <laughs> okay, if somebody gave me an urn as a gift, I would probably take it as a threat, but I don't know, maybe some people like that sort of thing. <laughs> Who knows? Message Ooh, we got a message, let's check that first, it's from Cornelius. Cornelius has a problem as well. Hmm. All right, come in tonight. Let's just get everything done today. All right. So Tevin and Cornelius. I think they were watching action movies. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> so, what'd you think of the action movie? It was pretty good, actually, and Cornelius' issue is gone, so did he just need a friend, maybe? <laughs> Would you be interested in watching action movies together every week? <laughs> Great idea, I'll put it in my schedule. <laughs> awesome, okay. Great. So they got along well. I am so happy to hear that. Just wonderful. Your messages are piling up. Yeah, really, tell me about it, kitty. Okay, the problem I had with not spending enough time with friends has been fixed. I feel much better about it now. There's always a chance it'll come back, but luckily I have you on hand to help me if it does. Okay, so that was his problem. Um, I don't know if he's still going to come in today, but um, he resolved that quickly, so that's awesome. Alright, Evie's got a problem. Herbert's got a problem. Let's go ahead and get them in today. Um, all right, I think that is all we need to do. Choose a client. Okay, so Cornelius uh, is still uh -huh. here, but we've already resolved his issues, so we're probably just gonna send him off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have more than one friend. Hmm. Maybe you get on well with Evie. So, since you're already uh -huh. here, uh -huh. let's see if uh, you and Evie might get along. Uh -huh. <laughs> We'll go ahead and set that up for tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> All right. Three more appointments today, and then 
That'll probably be the end of this episode. Okay, let's it's find something to, to talk the about. Eggs. Choose a topic. Let's do spiciness. If you were a potato, <laughs> what kind of potato would you be? Hmm. A sweet potato oh. or a hot potato? <laughs> okay, very, very interesting way of putting that. <laughs> I'm a sweet potato. Well, Walter, you are just a sweet potato. Oh, really? Because I'm a hot potato. Um, I don't know if our differences in potato types will cause an issue. Oh, oh my god. Are you guys seriously gonna, like, break up because you're not the same potato? That's... That's just silly, guys. Come on now. Okay. Choose a client. Hello, Walter, uh, sweet potato. Um, let's talk about your uh, problems. Uh, pick a problem. Uh, uh. Okay, let's see. Employment malfunction. All right, it's about his job. And it also looks like he wants more friends. Um, oh man, and he's having issues with Cornelius as well. Let's see if it's a personal problem though. Problem with your job? Well, Walter, are you serious right now? You just said you hate being a skydiving instructor. What? What? What do you want from me? You keep complaining about that, so what is it? God, okay, is it, um... Lifestyle? <laughs> Not spending enough time with friends, <laughs> alright, well... Let's make a compromise. Hmm. Wait for me to organize you an activity with a friend. <laughs> what? Convince you? I'm your love coach. You should just listen to what I say. Walter, trust me. I'm a doctor. Uh, Seriously. Mm. Okay, pink. Perfect. You really have no option. <sighs> You know what, Walter? I don't know about you anymore. You, you've kind of disappointed me with your attitude at this appointment. You've been pretty rude. Um, and you already have a friend. Why are you whining? You know what? I don't like you anymore. You can't even hang out with anybody else. No, you know what? We're gonna hang out with Herbert, like... I don't know what day it is. But soon, okay? So No, don't cancel it. Just, just get out. You know, you just needed to be more patient, okay? You... I do not appreciate the attitude of him not trusting me to do my job. Like, what do you mean, convince me? Oh. Uh, husband and wife, okay. Alright, let's forget about Walter for a second and focus on Herbert. Let's talk about your problems. Pick a problem! Alright. Hmm. Pressing your inner nature. Okay, personal problem, your lifestyle, feeling repressed. You're a hipster. Well, nobody is surprised. Okay, come out to a friend. Hmm. 
Would Walter approve of you being a hipster? I'm not. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh boy. Whoa. Let's let's just try it. Well, let's hmm. see what compromises we can do. Um. No. Oh. All right. Just just come uh, out. Come hmm. out to Walter. Um, just do it after hanging out with yeah. him, and maybe he'll be yeah. more understanding. Okay. Yeah. Choose a client. <laughs> Hello, Evie. Let's see what problem you have. Possibly needing more friends, but she's also feeling repressed. Okay. Edgy tendencies. Ooh, okay. Well, we can definitely help you with that. Oh. <laughs> Except that you don't have any friends. Well. Okay, so let's set you up to hang out with someone. How about mm. Devin? Let's, yeah. Mm. Let's watch horror movies with Devin. Tomorrow. And then you can mm. come out to him and it'll be great. Perfect. Man, it's gonna be hard trying to keep track of everybody's issues. Alright, one more appointment today. Edwina and Herbert. Let's see how this goes. Not too sure. Okay, so what do you think about researching crowdfunding projects? Hyperoptimal, alright. I'm a little surprised, but that's good. Get by with a little help from my friends. Herbert's got a friend. Wonderful. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. Good episode today. We got lots of issues coming up. Some issues have been resolved and our town's starting to look like a real town. So we're moving up in the world. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.